God blessed them and said to them, be fertile and multiply, fill the earth and master it. You put us in charge of your hand crafted world. God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over it. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands. From what seems like the beginning of humankind, much of our worldview has been seen through this lens. Master the world around us. Be in charge of it. Have dominion over it. Subdue our world. There is much about the ways we live that says, yep, we humanity have dominion over creation. We have been subduing creation. We are in a lot of ways using the world to serve us primarily and largely ignore the rest of creation as well as perhaps we could argue some other countries and peoples while we're at it. But this is not the only perspective. What shifts if we change the word take charge or master or dominion or subdue and think of it as take care? This, I think, would much more closely connect with the intention originally, but also connect with those words of Chief Seattle, whose words I shared with the kids, spoken originally by President Franklin during his speech in 1854. Here's a little bit more of that speech. You must teach your children that the ground beneath their feet is the ashes of our grandfathers so that they will respect the land and tell your children that the earth is rich with the lives of our kin. Teach your children what we have taught our children, that the earth is our mother. Whatever befalls the earth befalls the sons and daughters of the earth. If we spit upon the ground, we spit upon ourselves. This we know, the earth does not belong to us. We belong to the earth. Now I'd venture to guess that God's intention for us humans is much more like that of nurturer of the earth. As we heard in those words of Chief Seattle, we are not separate from nature, but a part of God's creation. When we take time, much as we're doing right now, to actually connect with nature, we are reminded of who we are, whose we are, and why we are here. I happen to believe very strongly that when we love and appreciate the world around us, we are more likely to care for it. So when we spend time noticing, observing, appreciating, we increase our ability to care for the world around us. From the beautiful flowers, to the bees, to the whales, to the koalas, whatever sort of nature thing piques your interest and causes a stirring inside of you to say, I need to work to protect that. And if we ignore all of nature, if we spit upon it, as we heard, I'm guessing we're more likely to abuse it. Consider these words of Martin Luther when he said, God writes the gospel not in the Bible alone, but also on the trees 
and in the flowers and clouds and stars. What happens when we think about that? Consider the words of Thomas Merton. Nothing has ever been said about God that hasn't already been said better by the wind in the pine trees. What happens when we shift our perspective in a way that the wind and the trees and the flowers and the clouds, that they too are gospel? Friends, I believe that when we come across beauty and creation, when we take a moment, and it just takes a moment, to actually stop in our tracks, to notice it. Often the first thing we want to do is take a picture. That's okay. But if we also train ourselves to say, thank you, God, every time we see something beautiful out there, And from there, from that thank you, God, we train ourselves to pray, help me care for your world. How many times a day would we say that prayer? Thank you, God, help me to care for your world. If every time we notice, because I think you probably do the same thing I do, you notice a cool flower, a cool tree, person doing something amazing. I mean, all the time we're noticing these things. And if we made those little moments, prayer moments, how that might shift our being. So let's pay attention. Let's notice. Let's offer these little prayers all throughout the day. So that we can step up our efforts to care, to be nurturers. That hummingbird wanted to be part of worship just now. To, to take our understanding of creation beyond, we just need to master it and control it, to caring for it. as we heard in that Psalm translation, to do our Genesis charge. That charge that has been given to us from the very beginning, to be caregivers. May it be so. Amen.